Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. It was good for our mothers. It was good for our mothers. It was good for our mothers. It's good enough for me. It will take us all to heaven. It will take us all to heaven. It will take us all to heaven. It's good enough for me. Hey. Uh, so good morning, and uh, I'm Zach Henson's The Confessions of the Mad Redneck Blog. And I, I said some stuff last time about Donald Trump, and you know I think I want to make an apology for that. You know Donald Trump, he's a smart politician and he knows what he's doing. And um, the people that are listening to him or following it are just they're just thinking about what's best for them and their families. And uh, unfortunately, the left has not offered us rednecks anything of substance. And I don't necessarily think that Donald Trump has either but he has offered us something. And what Donald Trump has offered us is superiority. But I wanna to argue to you and to us rednecks that in all actuality, um, the right has always offered us superiority and it's always been a symbolic superiority. It's never been anything real. And uh, we're not really anything any better off today than we were 500 years ago when we started accepting this superiority as a way to enforce slavery. And, you know, if you have to choose between superiority and nothing, which is what the left wing is offering, which is nothing, a bunch of derision and a bunch of talking about us about how we don't know how to vote and we don't know how to think. If you're offered superiority over that, I can understand why you could take superiority but I want to offer something from the left to us that is better than superiority. Now, it's not necessarily easy. I think superiority is an easy solution, but it's not necessarily easy, but I do think it's better. And what I want to offer from the left is economic self-sufficiency and economic independence. And to accomplish that through uh, cooperative enterprises. So. A cooperative, a worker-owned cooperative, is just a business that's owned by the workers. So in a regular business, there's an owner who has the money to pay workers to produce things for the owner. And the people who actually make the stuff don't actually control all of the wealth that they create. And in a cooperative, the workers actually invest in themselves and invest in their own business and they get to control all of the money that they that they create or all of the value that they create with through their labor so it, there's other types of cooperatives there's consumer cooperatives and that's when consumers actually own the business and get to help direct the business so there's all types of cooperatives including consumer cooperatives worker owned cooperatives and marketing cooperatives and there's also other cooperative type organizations like community land trusts in which communities own property collectively, and community development financial institutions, which are just basically community-controlled banks. And, you know, I know that, uh, that Donald Trump has offered this sort of superiority thing to us as rednecks, and I, you know, that's fine if you want to vote for that, but I don't think that's in our culture. Um, I don't think superiority to any human beings is part of is part of our culture, whether they be illegal immigrants or or Muslims or whoever. I don't think I think our culture is about um, getting what you deserve and what you have worked for, and not a bit more. And I don't think that I think that idea doesn't include the idea of superiority into it. But what I am saying is that the left can offer. The cooperative uh, cooperative enterprises to help us build wealth and regain gain regain control of uh, of the wealth in our communities because you know like I said in a previous vlog you know 65 percent of all of the property in the state of Alabama is owned by people outside of the Alabama and we need to have an Alabama for Alabamians and a South for the South and we don't need other people bleeding wealth 
out of our communities and out of our culture. And, you know, I think that the left has offered this cooperative economy as an option um, to people of color. And uh, I think that's good. And I think that's a place where rednecks and people of color can actually uh, have an alliance. But I want to go ahead myself and offer to say to extend the co cooperative enterprises and the chance to own our own wealth to rednecks. So, you know, like Trump's a, Trump, I don't hate Trump. Trump is a smart politician. He knows what the temperature of this country is right now. He knows that people are struggling. And, uh, and he's offered what a lot of politicians that have offered during those types of times throughout the globe, which is, uh, you know, a scapegoating of, of people who are just struggling just like we are. So, you know, I, I, but I understand that the left really hasn't offered rednecks anything to believe in. And so I want to offer something. So uh, I'm uh, Zach Henson. June 2016, McCall, Alabama, Confessions of a Mad Redneck Vlog. Peace, y'all.